I give you the introduction on the laboratory manual for biochemistry and basically it will be having two parts part A of the laboratory manual as well as the part B let's concentrate on the uh, part A first uh, this will be coordinated by me and uh, assisted by another lecturer and this is for semester 1 of 2022-2023 uh, uh, session uh, unlike the last uh, semester this will be conducted face to face and uh, expected normally to start on the 17th of October as the first week uh, for a span of uh, 14 weeks. However, uh, in uh, traditional or uh, commonly uh, practice in uh, UMP, uh, that is the practical will start on week 2 or week 3. And uh, a bit on the overview of biochemistry practicals, there are a total of uh, 6 practicals has been shown here. You have the buffer solution preparation uh, which normally conducted in one sitting or one week alone. There's no uh, part one, part two. And uh, next followed by uh, on uh, practical on carbohydrate. Uh, this is on reducing sugar and this uh, uh, can extend from uh, one to two weeks uh, part 1, part 2 and all depends on uh, whether the lecturer or and also the student can uh, finish it within one week of uh, three hours uh, lab uh, class itself. Then we have uh, one practical on photosynthesis. Uh, based on my experience, uh, this is quite a long uh, practical. Normally, it will take uh, two weeks to conduct and uh, next we have after the seven weeks, uh, normally uh, we can uh, reserve uh, three other practical for the remainder of the seven weeks in a 14 weeks semester. And that includes uh, lipid. Uh, this also uh, a lot to be done, could be part one, part two. And then uh, we have a quite a short practical on protein. Uh, that is on burette method. We also have another last uh, practical to be, uh, you know, considered to be part one, part two. And this one will uh, involve uh, on protein as well. So six practicals on, uh, on the uh, three uh, macromolecules, that is protein, uh, lipid, and also uh, carbohydrate. Of course, uh, nucleic acid is not being covered in biochemistry laboratory. Uh, it will be covered in a dedicated uh, course uh, later uh, in your uh, years of uh, uh, doing biotechnology program. And uh, if you ask what is the most important equipment relevant to biochemistry laboratory, it will be these are the important apparatus. Uh, you must be uh, uh, learning them and also be good at uh, it uh, because it will be covered as well in other subjects or in your career itself. Uh, so you need to learn about pH meter. We will teach you. We also have videos relevant to pH meter. Micro pipette, it is a very basic uh, apparatus but very useful in uh, providing uh, accurately volumes and then uh, something also dedicated to biochemistry is spectrophotometer a bit um, uh, high end uh, equipment uh, and other chemistry related uh, apparatus uh, basic apparatus such as burette volumetric flask uh, weighing balance and uh, others are also covered here uh, hopefully, you can brush upon your uh, exposure towards them here. And then, uh, moving on, uh, a bit of preface. 
but uh, you can read this uh, preface or introduction or overview on the course itself okay and uh, a bit on how to prepare the report itself maybe i should cover that in a bit more uh, extent uh, in uh, detailing it out uh, you need to uh, give in this format uh, that is uh, uh, title, uh, introduction, having objective uh, results, uh, results and discussion, and uh, finally to conclude, okay, uh, title uh, may just be, uh, you know, copy and paste from the level three manual, uh, but conclusion uh, also maybe just a simple uh, one paragraph, uh, but the others are uh, quite a lot. Um, objective also will be in point form. Like that okay uh, as you uh, write your report you will understand better in completing uh, report uh, for the six practicals itself yeah. and uh, uh, it should be simple uh, concise and also easy to understand for the marker okay and if you have a graph uh, I'm uh, sorry about the uh, outcome uh, shown here um, but if you have a graph, make sure the graph is, uh, you know, uh, taking up space of uh, at least half of the page and not smaller than that. Okay? And uh, a bit on the table also given, uh, uh, table uh, normally uh, uh, the title will be on top and then followed by the table. Uh, make sure the table has uh, columns useful columns uh, unnecessary uh, data in the columns uh, should not be found uh, only really relevant information okay and uh, title for the column also to be uh, short and uh, uh, understood by whoever go through your report okay uh, it has to be actually handwritten uh, for the past uh, two years, it has been in uh, computer-generated report. But now, I would like to re-emphasize that it has to be handwritten. Uh, simply because if it is uh, uh, computer-generated, uh, there is a likelihood that you have obtained uh, the report from your seniors. And therefore, very minimal changes done and uh, would not know uh, as a marker uh, it will be uh, misleading and therefore I am re-emphasizing it should be handwritten but uh, some exception uh, computer uh, can be also used to generate the tables uh, graphs and uh, any other uh, areas that you feel uh, is uh, in results form can be using uh, computer okay graphs and table uh, to be uh, most importantly but other than that uh, discussion uh, that you need to write uh, handwritten method also if you use uh, schematic uh, charts uh, on the method then you can use uh, computer generated but uh, any text that um, cannot be put in the form of uh, chart, diagram, uh, tables, graph should remain uh, handwritten. And uh, submission is normally uh, one week unless it's a lengthy practical then a uh, given time of two weeks will announce on that. A okay, uh, bit more information given here. Uh, on how to write the report, uh, please uh, read it uh, to get better understanding. So, uh, I would like to request that the front uh, or cover page to have uh, in this uh, format uh, will be useful or helpful for the marker itself. So, ensure that uh, it is in this format as well as having this uh, table because uh, the course learning outcome is where the lecturer or the marker will uh, input the marks 
and uh, we have it in uh, these uh, three rows to be CO1, uh, CO4, CO5 and you can see the most uh, amount of marks uh, concentrated towards results and answers to question naturally uh, that's where you actually perform the practical and therefore uh, we need to ensure you we give a lot more marks there uh, when uh, this is a practical cost. You also have uh, the CO1, uh, 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 what you call cost outcome one, uh, having a total of uh, 30 uh, marks uh, and then CO5 or cost outcome five having uh, total marks of 30. So uh, most of the marks are concentrated on uh, curriculum uh, or cost outcome or four. Okay. And then also uh, given on each one of the uh, parameters for the report, like title of the, uh, you know, the practical is just a cut and paste. But sadly, uh, even that some uh, groups in the past have uh, left it out and therefore they lose uh, 5%. Uh, and then uh, introduction. Uh, normally, uh, one page is uh, requested uh, by the students, uh, but if you want to go more than one page, uh, you are most welcome. Ensure uh, principle is uh, covered here. Ensure some of the reactions are given here. Some of the basic uh, uh, information about the practical uh, given in the introduction and uh, should uh, have been uh, you know uh, looked upon some kind of reference either book journal uh, website uh, also uh, encouraged in the introduction and uh, objective is actually a point form uh, uh, to perform uh, to evaluate to investigate uh, those kind of uh, wording should be normally should be present and uh, not so many uh, normally uh, you know uh, three to five or you know up to three uh, sufficient uh, depending on the practical uh, cover covering uh, what area material method uh, as I said uh, it can be in a schematic diagram if you are very uh, creative or you can just uh, have it in text form uh, uh, some student uh, you know uh, just uh, cut and paste from the laboratory manual uh, also sufficient uh, some has gone uh, in a better more creative manner of a schematic diagram uh, see what you can achieve and uh, that uh, comes to 10 percent and then uh, result and answer is where all the marks are concentrated ensure that you know uh, what you achieve in the laboratory will be the results that you put in your report uh, whatever observation whatever uh, numbers values that you calculate uh, using some formulas or using the graph uh, based on that you get uh, the final answer uh, put it here in the results uh, section have some discussion uh, later part in another section and also I have uh, included uh, some question for every practical uh, put it in the results section for the uh, answers uh, for these questions okay. um, ensure you have the calculation many uh, groups often uh, leave out uh, uh, if not all the calculation at least one example uh, a type of uh, calculation done uh, some uh, no calculation at all therefore I had no choice uh, in not giving marks okay. uh, figure and table ensure also done uh, in a proper manner as I said earlier you can uh, look into using uh, computer generated figures and tables uh, graphs uh, not a problem but make sure the uh, basic things are present uh, like scales the, the legends uh, uh, what is the, uh, the title of axis and all that need to be given properly or not there will be a deduction or marks there discussion of the result uh, sometimes students go to the extent of uh, one uh, page or even up to two pages of uh, discussion uh, depending on how enthusiastic or 
how uh, you know the practical is it uh, uh, a lot been covered in the practical a lot of uh, sub experiments therefore there will be a lot to discuss basically uh, what result you get uh, discuss it uh, is it uh, uh, the suppose uh, results or is it deviated uh, what went wrong what are the precautions taken what should have been done correctly if you didn't get the proper result um, and what should have been done uh, 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 you know, uh, properly if you uh, have to do it again uh, uh, those kind of areas should be discussed sometimes even uh, if you say determine uh, certain values for lipid uh, the oil maybe you can also compare with what is present in theory uh, say olive oil have this much of uh, uh, saturation uh, acid value uh, what the oil we give and what can you get uh, get from the website uh, in terms of the value the actual value uh, if it's too far off uh, from your experiment what went wrong what precaution need to be done uh, those kind of thing and conclusion uh, conclusion will be very simple in point form uh, or you know small uh, short paragraph if uh, there are values to be uh, obtained like you know just now i said acid value just provide uh, the oil olive oil given to me has this much of acid uh, value like that short okay. references are uh, also five percent here and ensure it is a format of uh, apa or vancouver style uh, doesn't matter which uh, style but consistent uh, you can uh, uh, go to the library website and find out what is this apa or vancouver style it's best you are encouraged now itself to follow these uh, referencing uh, styles okay? um, if uh, uh, it is not following these uh, uh, referencing styles then i will take a little bit marks out of it okay? appendix uh, also creates bonus uh, if i see uh, other areas you have made uh, you know uh, apparent uh, very clear mistake and but you have appendix uh, i will give you some marks to cover all the loss in other sections okay. uh, guidelines of lab laboratory safety uh, there are certain safety measures that you need to perform in biochemistry laboratory there will be a general presentation or briefing on laboratory safety but uh, safety and security is uh, upper most important thing in any laboratory practical. Please read this in, on your own uh, before you enter the biochemistry lab uh, course. That's it. Uh, I'm going to end uh, this uh, briefing uh, as an introduction into the biochemistry laboratory uh, itself.